Now we can say a few things about the order of operations when exponents are involved. We have an additional rule for dealing with the order of operations when we have exponents. And this is the rule. Exponents are evaluated before multiplication and division. And we need a rule like that because sometimes situations show up like this. Here's a multiplication five times this thing, and this is an exponent right here, two to the power of three. So the question is, what do we do here? Is this five times two to the power of three like that? Or is it five times two to the power of three? If you have parentheses like you do down here, the parentheses dictate which one you do first. So let's work out these two examples. The first one here on the left. We do what's in parentheses first. 2 to the power of 3. That is not 2 times 3. That's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So this is 5 times 8, which is 40, because this 2 cubed, or 2 to the power of 3, is the same as 8. Over here, the parentheses, again, dictate which one we do first. We do 5 times 2. That thing in parentheses is what is raised to a power. And that thing in parentheses right there, 5 times 2 is 10. So this is 10 to the power of 3. And again, that's not 10 times 3. That's 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. So you see, these two answers are completely different. It matters whether we do the multiplication first or whether we do the exponent first. If there aren't parentheses to tell us which one to do first, the rule says we evaluate the exponents before we do the multiplication and division. So without parentheses, this is the same as this. The exponent gets evaluated first. This is equal to 5 times 2 cubed. Not 5 times 2 cubed. It's 5 times 2 cubed, or 5 times 8, which is 40. So this, then, is the order of operations. Exponents are done first. Then we do multiplication and division, left to right. And then we do addition and subtraction, left to right. And we'll look at some examples now. OK, this first example, 2 times 2 squared. We do the exponent first. That 2 squared right there can be replaced with a 4, because 2 squared is 4. So instead of 2 times 2 squared, I can write 2 times 4. I've just replaced the 2 squared with a 4, because 2 squared and 4 are the same thing. And I've done the exponent. I haven't yet done the multiplication. So now I do the multiplication. 2 times 4 is 8. And that's a different answer than if we had done this. If we had done the multiplication first, we would have a 4 squared, which would be 16. In the absence of parentheses, we do the exponent first. Same thing down here. The 3 squared gets done before that multiplication. In other words, this is not 4 times 3 squared. It's 4 times 3 squared, or 4 times 9 because the 3 squared is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. So 4 times 9, then, is 36, and that's our answer. In this third example, we do the exponent first. So I'm going to rewrite the whole problem just evaluating that exponent. This is 4 times 25 minus 2 times 16, because the 4 squared gives me that 16. Now I have a multiplication, a subtraction, and a multiplication. I need to do the multiplication and division. And there's no division here, just multiplication. But the rules say multiplication and division get done first, left to right, and then the addition and subtraction. So I'm going to rewrite this problem again, but I'm going to perform these two multiplications as I do so. 4 times 25 is 100. And then I have the minus right here. And then 2 times 16 is 32. Notice I'm doing the problem in steps. I'm not trying to do this all at once. I'm rewriting it here in one step and then in another. And in each step, it gets a little bit simpler. 100 minus 32, we can probably do in our heads. If not, uh, just work it out. But it comes out to 68. 
Now this last one. 3 times 4 times 2 cubed minus 2 squared. Okay, we have to do the exponents first. So I'm just going to rewrite the problem. 3 times 4 times, now this 2 cubed, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I know that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And then I have this minus sign. And then I have this 2 squared, which is a 4. So I've just taken this problem and rewritten it with these two exponents evaluated. And now it's a little bit simpler problem. Now the rules say I need to do the multiplication here left to right before I do this, this uh, subtraction right here. So 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 times 8 is 96. And then I have this minus 4. And 96 minus 4 is 92.